Hey strangers, it's Bitsy Tandem, back with another tutorial episode. So, I've been having people ask me how I do my sketching and layers for my comic books. So I decided that today I would show you guys. So, pretty much for all of my comics, I go through my first um, chapter, pretty much I go through the entire chapter, and uh, I do these thumbnail sketches that you see here at the bottom. So they're just rough, they're blocky, they're basic. They give me the idea of what I want to do for the panels. And I do that for the whole chapter so I can not only see my script, I can see that this is how I want it to look with my script. And these are just the audio cues that tag for the written script that I have. Um, written. Duh. <laughs> so after this I just drop in my t file template. And I, I've already done that for this one, and you see I've already done one of my pages, or panels. And then I come in, and I choose, say, let, let's draw Ellie right now. Let's make her all cute and stuff. I get in real close, and make sure you drop this regular basic one down really low, because I don't really need that. That's not a sketch that's just showing me what I want in that panel. And then I come back, and hit new, and this this one's my sketch. So I can't ever remember sketches with a C or a K, so I go back and forth on my shorthand there. But um, pretty much that's how you get started for your sketch layer. And I love this lighter pencil. Um, I don't know if it came stock or if I downloaded it from Fendant or from something else, but the sensitivity on it's just great, as you can see. And I typically sketch in a blue so that if I have to go over it to make some really fine details, if I'm doing a really nice detailed drawing or a, like a portrait of something, I'll go through with the black um, over top of the blue. But I don't think I'll need to do that for this panel, just because it's a little shibi face, basic easy. And then you just sketch, sketch you, sketch you a little shibi. They they have very fat she chickens, big old cheeks. Boo boo boo. -doo. Like a little chipmunk, little chipmunk people. Uh, chibi is a slang. It's not an actual word in Japanese, but it is derived from the word chisai, which means small. And when you Google Translate Bitsy, or at least last time I tried it, <laughs> it changes. Google Translate changes all the time. The last time I did it, when you Google Translate Bitsy, it directly translates to chisai, and I'm like, yeah, I'm a chibi person is adorable. Um, though <laughs> my uh, my nickname that my husband gives me for some, some reason, I mean I know the reason, but uh, <laughs> I was watching a lot of Pokemon and you know they have like this Hippopotas and so he came home one day and I'm like Hippo because I don't know I'm weird and that's all good and uh so, I don't know, I was just really having fun saying that, so I, I was saying it for like a week straight, so my little pet name is Hippo. Um, and for Valentine's Day, the year after he started calling me Hippo, he got me a little Hippo hat, and it's the best thing ever. And I brought it to Japan with me, and he called me Kaba-sama, which means Lord Hippo. Um, it was great. People laughed. They thought it was hysterical. I'm really glad. <laughs> uh, the Japanese people are so great. They're super nice. Um, we made a lot of friends. Do -do 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 -do. Oops. I mean, it really doesn't matter. It's a sketch. <laughs> but yeah, I had tons of fun on our trip to Japan. We actually got great deals on those tickets too. You, if you go on, um, if you go like like the off season, you can get some really cheap tickets to Japan. Um, especially if your dates are flexible and like you can fly out of uh, multiple places. I don't want her nose that big. Just a little nubble. Just a little nubble. Ellie's got her cray the hair. Always got her cray the hair. Does not brush her hair. <laughs> I I did not brush my hair for a very long time. Um, 
and even in high school it took me a while to start brushing my hair. It wasn't until I started really dating um, my husband, obviously he was my boyfriend at the time, that I actually started caring and I started brushing my hair and I realized my hair was not a huge knot and it was terrible and I started brushing it more often so I wouldn't get that big old knot on my head again because it hurt. Um, but yeah, hygiene wasn't like my priority. I was all about the world of Warcraft back then and uh, that world of Warcraft and Hot Pockets, that was my priority. Thank goodness he was into WoW too. <laughs> Oh, the day I learned he played WoW was the day I knew I'd marry that boy. <laughs> um, blushes. Got to have the blushes. Can't not have blushes. So, like I said, this is a really basic panel, so that's pretty much it for my sketching. And then I just turn that down to like just under 50, somewhere around 45, and I boop another on top, and I hit ink. This is my ink. Make sure you're on black. Um, I mean, you can have pink ink if you want. I'm not your boss. Um, then you come over and I like the mapping pen because it's just, once again, it's got a really nice, uh, what's the word? Sensitivity. I'm really picky about my brushes. I've got a bunch of brushes and I'm, I only use like a very specific few. Um, and then you just go in and you make the ink of the cute. Make sure it looks even cuter than your sketch did. That's the point. Ah, it's kind of hard to ink and talk at the same time. Really, it, it's kind of throwing me off. Um, kind of nervous, but I'm gonna try to not be nervous because you you guys are you guys are nice and awesome, and I have the best fans ever. So. I'll, I'll do my best for you. Ah, what am I doing? Hit the wrong thing. You gotta watch that sometimes. If you, if you hit too hard on one spot, it'll think you're trying to activate something else, and I'm like, no! Stab it! Little, little nubby nose. Oh, love it. Big ol' face. Um, what was I talking about? I'm pretty sure I was talking about something. Pretty be sure. But I cannot seem to remember. So I'll probably just change the subject like I always do. Why can't I get that? You know what's a good thing to talk about? Health. Health is really good for you. One might even say it's healthy. Um, so in this case I was thinking, because right now my knuckles hurt, uh, hand health. If you draw a lot, your hand's going to hurt. Um, and you might start developing arthritis. <laughs> um, it, there are ways you can take precautions against that to keep your hand healthier longer, to keep your drawing and your, um, like, more dexterous and stuff. And uh, there's two things I do specifically that help my hand stay healthy. One of them is when I draw, like right now, I wear a arthritis glove. It's kind of embarrassing because you have to go into Walgreens or something and go to like the arthritis section and there's a lot of like old people standing around and they look at you funny when you grab an arthritis glove and you're like, hey, I've, I've got hurting joints too, man. I, I, I do, I really do. Um, but that's okay because it's worth it because it compresses your knuckles and your fingers and it makes it a lot easier to draw for long like longer times? What's the, what's the word for that? When you're like running, you can run longer. There's a word for this. It's um... Run time is not that. That's for TV shows. Um... Fudge nuggets. Anyway. It helps you draw longer because it keeps your joints compressed and helps them stay better good feeling. Um, I might like that like that. It's a bit low. But 
that's the first one I do. It's easy. You just throw it on right before you start drawing. Um, the second one, and is probably the more important one, get yourself a big, thick rubber band. Not like wide, like, like you want the circle of the rubber band, the circumference to be small, but you want the band itself to be thick. And uh, the, the best place to get those, honestly, go, go buy yourself some broccoli. Um, yeah, yeah, like a vegetable. I know, it's like, it really, you should, I mean, buy, buy the broccoli, eat the broccoli, use the broccoli band. Um, <laughs> that, that is, that is my pro tip for your health. Because not only is that broccoli good for you, that band's going to help. Um, what I do is I put it on, like, my second knuckle on my fingers, and I slowly open and close my hand, and it kind of, it's kind of like a workout. And it's exactly like a workout. Um, it's just like doing bicep curls for your fingers, and it'll make them stronger, it'll get the muscles in your fingers stronger, and it'll help you stay healthy in your hands. It's nice, it really is because then you can draw longer, you can go without pain, it's just the best to make sure you're feeling good. Uh, for hand health at least. I mean, it's not gonna make you any skinnier if that's what you're going for, but if you're looking to make your drawing more, um, I still can't remember that dang word with the, with the endurance, that's the one. If you want better like endurance for your drawing time that broccoli band is gonna help Whoop. necks are weird I can never figure out where I want to put my necks oops I keep hitting things so in this page I'm drawing right now it's a uh, what's the word part of um so Part of my main story, Main in Disguise, Ellie, right here, is the main character. This is Allie, her best friend. They're at Allie's favorite cafe, and they're snacking, and they're talking, and, and, and I don't want to spoil anything, so you're going to have to read it, <laughs> but basically they're hanging out, eating delicious cake, and uh, Ellie is trying to express to her friend that she is not only the first real friend she's ever had, but she very much appreciates her friendship. But Ellie does not know how to say that because she is a very awkward small. And that's okay. She's trying and that's what counts. But they get interrupted by the waitress. So that, that waitress is like, shrewd um, but that's basically what's going on right here they just got interrupted by the waiters while Ellie was trying to spill her heart to her best friend and people ship them so hard and it's probably because I mean to them and make it all ship worthy I am a shipping ship that ships shipping ships I will not be stopped we, yeah, I actually really draw, really draw the what? Oh dear, dyslexic. <laughs> I really enjoy drawing the scenes that make it almost seem like I ship Ellie and Allie, like almost, but not quite. <laughs> it's so fun. I like your reactions. If you guys weren't such good sports. <laughs> then I would be sad. I like that you're good sports. You don't have to be good at sports. Just be a good sport about it. You know? You know. Does that hair look right? Every now and then it's good to turn off that sketch layer and make sure things are looking right. See here, now that I've turned it off, her head is too long! No! I don't like that. I don't want it that long. I'm going to have to change it now. But that is the best part about, you know, digital art. I don't have to redraw this entire dang thing. I take this, my handy dandy polyline marker bleh, 
Marque, Marque, I don't even know. Um, <laughs> and I go and decide where I want this to go. Maybe just there. Boop. And pull it down to where I want it. That's much more better. Much more better. Yeah. I like it. Um, and then just go and do your fixings. Oops. Dork. I can't believe I did that. There. Um, I... The line's really heavy right there, but not heavy enough down here. So I'm gonna go... Oops. Come on. There we go. That's more uniform, and I always add a little neckline because I'm a big fan of clavicles and neck muscles. I don't know why. <laughs> Speaking about clavicles, I once had a guy come up to me and compliment my clavicles. It was interesting. And by interesting, I mean probably the weirdest compliment I've ever gotten. Because, like, he was sitting behind me at this concert. And I was at the concert watching Aaron, my husband, uh, play the saxophone. And I was all dressed up in this fancy dress, because it was this fancy thing. And this fancy concert in Nashville, it was really awesome. They did a great job. The French horns were cranking it out, man. I'm such a nerd for French horns. Um, but uh, this guy comes up after the show, and he like... He's like, excuse me, I just wanted to tell you that you have amazing clavicles. And I'm like, clap? <laughs> and he's like, yeah, you, your clavicles are great. Um, I'm like, okay, thank you. And then he tried to ask me out and I'm like, dude, bro, I'm here because I have a dude. Not because I'm looking for one. It was awkward. It was really awkward. And then Aaron like walked up and he was like, shoo, foo, this is my girl. And I'm like, gee, gee. <laughs> Anyway, uh. Can you tell I'm feeling extra silly today? Though, it might come as a surprise <laughs> that I'm pretty much just silly all the time. And when I'm not, it's because I'm trying to be all professional. But this is pretty much how I am at home always. Uh, which may or may not be a surprise because if you know me at all you know I'm a big dork and I love being a dork that's why I tell you guys to stay strange it's just funner funner that's not a word but that's okay I like how that worked Ew, hair um this is simultaneously sometimes the well not simultaneously it's either the funnest part or the most dreaded part of my entire inking process. Sometimes I'm like, woohoo, hair! And I like to give them little flyaways and stuff. That actually is kind of adorable. I'm gonna keep it. Um, but sometimes I'm like, ah, oh, no, hair! Why? I hate it. I don't hate it. Um, it's just tedious sometimes. And I am not a big fan of the tedious. Um, my husband tried to teach me how to um, crochet. No, knit. He was knitting. He was trying to teach me how to knit. I was playing Halo, and he got me killed, and I will never knit. <laughs> Mostly because of the Halo, also because of the tedious. Uh, I just couldn't, I couldn't wrap my head around it. It was so boring. Not that, I mean, if you like it, then it's not boring to you, obviously. Which is, I mean, that's good for you if you like to knit. I, I couldn't do it. It's not for me, but that's okay. That is okay, okay. We have to be different. We're all individuals. It's good to be yourself. As long as you're not hurting anybody, you are okay in my book. And I actually have a book, so it should count for more, right? Not really. <laughs> I'm not any better than anybody else. I'm just determined as heck. <laughs> And being determined is hard. You really have to be determined to be determined to be determined, you know? 
It's not just like, oh look, I am randomly determined. You gotta choose. It's a choice. Everything's a choice, really. You can choose to get out of bed and be productive, or you can choose to not. You can choose to make yourself a PBJ and actually feed yourself today, or you can choose to keep drawing and forget all your duties and, you know, not work out even though you're supposed to. And, oh gosh, I really need to make food from my husband. <laughs> Shirking my duties to make you a video. Yeah. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> all right, look at that. Look at that, it's cute. Um, but it's not complete without the blushies. These are my favorite brushes, the blushy brushies. <laughs> what? Look at that. I don't know if that's the size I want. Mm, I'm very particular. My blushies have to be just so. I like that one, but that might be too much blush for this. That's better. Maybe not. Mm. No, I don't like that one either. That one's perfect. Saving! Oh fudge, I missed an eyebrow! Crud nugget. Okay, okay, okay. I got this. Bam. Freaking eyebrowed. <laughs> Woohoo! Now the ink's done! Yay! I want another flyaway. Yeah, I like that. I like that quite a lot. So from there, you just hit underneath and you make yourself a color layer. Clur. No. Clur. That's better. Um, it's actually better. I forgot. I forget to do this all the time and it makes my life very difficult. But all those little hairs that I just did, it's so much easier to do those after you have put your color in because cause now I have to go through and make sure my hip, I have to like click every piece of the dang hair. Ah! Which you just take your magic wand and you hold shift and that's how you get it all. But it takes so much longer and it's really annoying. Oh well, my bad. That's all my fault. That's all me guys. Okay. Um, I want to actually move this eye up. I always forget this when I'm drawing, but the I ah, now she's a pirate. R. <laughs> the oh, yeah. Eh. The the eye closer to the front is usually higher up, and it makes them look more even. Even Steven. Yeah. So that's how I do my sketching and inking. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comments. I am totally open to showing you all kinds of fun things you can do with this program because there are so many fun things you can do with this program. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys stay strange and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.